Hey, did you get everything you needed? All present and correct. Are you sure this is a good idea? Making Josh and Fletch pay for spamming everyone out the herd in cash. Yeah, it's a good idea. Ready when you are. You're right, Nancy. See, what are you doing here? Nancy's gonna help me with my interview, aren't you, Nancy? Yeah, I'm gonna take some snaps. I suppose a photo of the first beast victim at the location of the first beast attack wouldn't be a bad idea. Might even boost trade. People only want to see the beast. They want to meet the boy who got away. That's me, the boy who got away. At least you got away. I was on the web the other day and I found this site about a boy in America who faked puma attacks at his high school. It was all going great until a real puma showed up and ate him and everyone he was with. A, a, a puma ate him? Yeah. It was sad. Shall we go? I want to get this interview done so we can get people on this tour this afternoon. This is going to be sweet. I'm not going to have a clue what's hit them. We should be doing this. You heard that story that Nancy told us before? Yeah, I did. But it doesn't mean the same thing is going to happen to us. He was unlucky. We're loads of cover. We ain't going to get attacked by no beast. Right. You know what you've got to do. Yes, we've been over it a million times. I wouldn't be surprised if you heard something. This is where Fletch first got attacked, innit? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just walking along, minding his own business he was, until he saw a pair of bright yellow eyes. <gasps> like those over there! Are you sure? Yeah. There's only one way to find out. We've got to go in there. Come on, Fletch. What? I said, come on, Fletch. There's nothing in there, remember? We made the whole thing up. This is going to be a great part of the interview. What was that? Hannah? Look. Hannah? Nancy? They've gone. He's taken them. They can't have. They can't have. They've got to be here somewhere. It's Puma boy all over again. Should have known better than to mess with nature. How many times have we got to go over this place? There is no beast. <laughs> You said you thought you saw something the first time we came in here. <laughs> that was Josh! Save us! We've got to find him. Yeah, but we, I am not letting my sister and her fit mate get eaten by some half-human, half-wild cat combo. Josh! Fletch! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Nancy! Honey! Nancy! Where are they? They're probably getting ripped to shreds somewhere. Ah! Ah! What was that? It was the beast. I thought you said there wasn't a beast. Well, I didn't think there was. I, I thought you'd made it up so we could scam a load of money and hook up with girls once they've been on our tour. I did, and we were supposed to. But I'm starting to think that there's more things in this woods than I first thought, and that they're getting closer by the second. Oh, we, we have to get out of here. What about <laughs> Hannah and Nancy? They'll be puma food by now. Well, which way do we go? How do we get out of here? I don't know. We're lost, aren't we? That puma's going to be picking bits of us out of his teeth for weeks. Come on. <laughs> See, this is the end, and there's a couple of things I want you to know. You know, that train set that mysteriously vanished one night. Yeah, I took it to see if it could outrun my remote control car. It couldn't. That's all right. You know that hamster you still have? Hammy? Yeah, well, he, he didn't go back and see his mum and decided he liked living with her better than with you. I left the cage door open when I was looking after him while, while, while you were on holiday, and he got sucked up by the vacuum cleaner. If I don't get out of this alive, I want you to know that you're the best cousin anyone could have ever had. Even though I killed Hammy? Even though you killed Hammy. And Thanks. if you make it and I don't, will you do something for me? Anything. Will you tell Hannah that I love her and that I'm sorry and that I didn't mean for any of this to happen? That is if she's still alive. Will you do something for me if it's the other way around? Name it. Will you clear out of that drawer under my bed and promise not to tell a soul what you find in there? I promise. This is it. Go! Go! Are we dead? Uh, or in heaven? No, you're not dead and you're not in heaven either. But you two are going to wish you were by the time everyone finds out about this. 
can explain. About these? Or the fact that you're such a big crybaby when you think you're going to die? I am not a crybaby. Oh, that wasn't what it looked like from where we were hiding. And we've got the pictures to prove it. Just like you set everyone else up. <laughs> you set us up? Yeah. What do you want us to do? Pay back every penny you made from this whole thing. Every penny? Every penny. And I'll be checking with everyone who went on the tour, so we'll know if you have or not. Thanks for today. It's been real fun. That's it. I cannot wait to get back and write my article. You're not still gonna write that thing, are you? Of course I am. The boys who cried beast. What do you think? You coming, Nance? Yeah. Oh, and for your information, you and me. It's never going to happen. Not now I've found out what you keep in the drawer under your bed. Dirty boy. Why does that always happen? We come up with some foolproof scam to earn some spare cash and win the ladies. Then someone always has to come in and ruin it. Why do you think Nancy said me and her was never going to happen? Look, there's right under my bed. Next time, we're just going to have to plan everything down to minute detail. Next time? What was that? It'll just be uh, Hannah and Nancy come back for some more. Didn't you get enough last time? Something tells me that wasn't Hannah and Nancy. I said I'd be home by now. <laughs>